if you stop it. You understand me? Because enough them on appearance may tell you the truth, you know, enough for the problem. Well, I feel speak up Katie is a master, even though she said she tried, it wasn't good enough because when I have been them basically bus. Which is Michi and Fear being both are in it because you don't know say how I basically a knife the other girl did I use stab her. I mean, I don't know how she get knife to reach by the school compound because Katie say how a ratchet she have been. Jamaica is making all kinds of news. We're used to hearing about how beautiful the island is and all the many resorts and attractions. Not to mention Bob Marley and all of the great artists and dance hall music that has came out of Jamaica. Well, y'all, it breaks my heart to let you know today that many Jamaicans have been scammed out of buying illegal homes or land to build on from gangs or some sort of thugs or criminals who have been taking over the land in order to build up these subdivisions and collect rent off the properties. One lady gave up $800,000, y'all, and it breaks my heart to see this woman cry about how she's going to rebuild again. Also, a young man was unalived by a tree, allegedly, as the parents Hurl accusations at one another, alleging that one or the other could be the suspect. And on September 29, 2022, a young girl who was stabbed to death at the hands of another student who apparently got her feelings hurt the day before is being charged with murder for a senseless crime that took place in Kingston Technical High School. Now, before we get into this video, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down for YouTube's approval so that this content can get pushed out into the algorithm and uh, be heard by more people, right? Because we're only trying to bring awareness to these stories that we cover and encourage everybody, especially the 12 tribes, to head back toward the Most High God and begin to find and seek ye the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness so that this too, how to deal with rejection and how to deal with getting our feelings hurt, shall come to pass in our community and we can then begin to break these generational curses right here offenses easily agitated annoyed um you know no tolerance no patience we can start to work on some of these traits in our community and possibly save more lives right many children and people who attend school of some sort go with the intentions of learning making new friends, attending all of the events, achieving good grades, passing tests, and the ultimate goal and reward for any student of any age is graduation. And I was able to graduate from college in 1993, and I graduated from nursing school in 2004. Unfortunately, this won't be the case for Michian Camel, nor Nika Shan, the young lady involved in this. You bruised my ego, allegedly, and I'll end your life saga and drama that plagues the 12 tribes of Israel, Black communities, African people all around the world. So what we know is that a fight took place the day before this heinous demonic crime took place apparently nika shang got in her feelings because she lost the fight to michian camel now what they were fighting over god only knows but most jamaicans say it's very 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 petty everybody i've listened to and was in contact with all say that this was very petty very petty and i'll play some audio for you here even though I don't even know. I guess it's something petty. Missy and Camel got the best of this girl. The following, the, the, the day before this situation happened, um, according to witnesses, school had just let out 
and the compound, you know, the yard was full with teachers, guards, security, children, students. And at some point throughout the day on the 29th, Shan, she was taunting and picking at Campbell all day long. I guess this is because she had the knife on her and felt like powerful and I could beat you today. Let's fight again. You know, you won't beat me like you did yesterday. I'm going to prove to you who is the best, who's who's the who's the bigger person here, okay? And let me tell you something. Going to grab a knife and taking somebody's life is not the bigger person. Because believe you me, wherever Nika Shan is, and I believe it's in a jail somewhere in, in Jamaica, that girl feel as small as an ant, as a grain of rice, as a seed of salt or sugar. Shan, she was taunting Campbell, allegedly, and then she eventually, on the campus at that day, she draped up Campbell by the collar. She, like, yoked her up by the collar, drew her into her. That's how she was able to puncture a main artery. Now, some people say that the weapon was a ratchet, as we heard the young man in the beginning of this video say, right? Nonetheless, whatever it was, it was able to pierce the main artery in Campbell's neck, causing her to bleed out. In some of the audio that you're about to hear, it makes claims of Shan's feelings being hurt. Nobody really breaking up the fight. But interestingly enough, uh, how a nurse was allegedly bawling and making noise in the front seat of the car with the dean instead of being in the back seat with Michion Campbell attending to her, who was fighting for her life still at this point, allegedly, and who was being consoled by a young student. That barely knew Miss Shion. Well, it's not like me at the school for like the whole seventh grade. I just come to the people in school and I was the only person helping her. I don't even talk to her. I don't really know her. But put her life on the line, led by the Spirit of God, I do believe, because she was trained in faith first aid. So me go so boots now, cause I'm study first aid. I do first aid, so I'm a certified first aider. To give assistance to save a life. Now, that's what it's about. It's about saving lives, y'all, not taking life. And if more people were trained to save lives than to take lives, we would probably have more people, family members, and friends alive today than gone on to be with the Lord, right? This woman, this young student, her name is Katie, she refers to herself as a regular common like student. Like, why am I back here with this girl bleeding out, attending to her when the nurse is up in the front seat, bawling out, screaming, making noise? So we're gonna hear all of that. I still did try up until when me and her got in the car. I was the only person in the back of the car. The dean and the school of a nurse. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, oh my god. You know the the car. You're not supposed to be at the back of the car. I'm a okay. normal student. And basically, my opinion after careful review with the watchful eye led by the spirit of God, the word of God is not being taught the way it should be in this land, and it's not being received and obeyed as we all should be doing, right? So I think that someone failed Nika Shan, and Nika Shan may have failed herself, not realizing that there is real genuine help out here to get her spirit back on course so that it would not want to take the life of another person, right? And not only that, she can also minister to other women who may have been in her situation or found themselves in her situation or will find themselves in her situation, right? She could have possibly saved herself, other young girls like her, but especially Miss Yon Campbell, who had nothing but great things and prosperity going on for her in her life. And if these two young girls may have had a chance to talk and wasn't fighting, 
I do believe Spirit is saying that Mishion, and even in death, will be able to minister to young girls about fighting and, you know, self-esteem and, and you know, not not resorting to violence to resolve situations and conflict. Now, if you deal with anything that may cause you to do anything out of the ordinary, what's not your normal, what you know is not right, what you know can lead you to jail or death yourself, or if it may want you to take another person's life, please don't hesitate to use the domestic violence number and the National Alliance on Mental Health Illnesses number down below this video except for in the shorts i don't put it there but you can also find it on the about page do not hesitate to use that number all right family and i'm so already please subscribe like share and comment for more content like this the big question i pose to you now is this if nika shan had been sent through the metal detector would michian campbell be alive today and can you imagine what this lady says right here in an aftermath of Thursday's stabbing death, a student at Kingston Technical High School, a senior law enforcement officer is recommending that administrators collaborate with the police to conduct more unannounced searches at institutions across the country to find potentially deadly weapons and other prohibited items. Now, the problem here is that there is a discrepancy about how they search the students in the school the men go through the metal detectors and the women are just searched hopefully by female searchers as should be but this is the question may I ask where is the security guard the reason why may I ask about the security guard is a woman look here a man alone get search my mind your security guard supposed to search the kids them make sure so them not carry no tool come at school no weaponry come at school i am asking if i just the boy pity them get searched the girl pity them not get searched too wouldn't they dig up the girl pity them bag eh wouldn't they search the girl pity them if you can't use the man security to do the job get woman security to search the girl pity them but they don't they're not required to go through the metal detector now if nika shan was made to go through the metal detector do you think this woman would be alive today so deputy superintendent limbo phoenix head of operations for the kingston central police division made the decision he made this decision after 16 year old michian campbell succumbed to injuries after reportedly being stabbed by a 17 year old student during a dispute on the downtown kingston based school i'm gonna jump around here i'll leave all the articles down below there were several shocked and distraught parents and onlookers stood outside the school on thursday pondering how the school's defenses were breached and i'm gonna tell you how if you're sending the men this didn't happen with the men thank god and hopefully women aren't bringing weapons in for the men, right? But this didn't happen with the men. They're going through the metal detector. So the odds of this happening are, are less, you know? But the women aren't going through the metal detector. And one woman's going to go on to say in this article that women can hide things. Well, if you send them through the metal detector, they have less chance of hiding metal and objects that can be detected by the metal detector right so phoenix however pointed out that regardless of the security measures in place there will always be a need to ramp up searches at schools especially those that are plagued by violent clashes and disorder and i would like to say here let me tell you something without the word of god without order and justice and righteousness and peace and equality and people feeling good about themselves and knowing that they don't got to worry about other races or people making life hard for them or actually taking their lives this world would be a better place trust me i keep telling us as black people not another cult click conversate convocation a uh, 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 conference committee 
none of that is going to do. If you don't get the hearts right of the people, you're always going to have clashes and disorder. Remember, within every one of us, the spirit is fighting against the flesh to do right or not do right. So you know when we hook up with other spirits and with other people still possibly walking in the flesh, it's room for clashes chaos, contention, confusion, and disorder, right? So Jamaica Teachers Association President Lasagna Harrison, who yesterday condemned the attack, said that while the schools have employed different mechanisms to keep out weapons, it is, diff it is a difficult task for administrators. If you send everybody through the metal detector and then get searched, a greater chance of eliminating your weapons. Try doing it that way. Don't just send them through the metal detector. Send them through the metal detector and then search them as well if it's that bad in your school. Quote, the challenge around is presented to us as society. We really need to stop and take stock of what is happening because schools cannot pervade the person of an individual. And she's absolutely right. That wickedness within the person, that rage, that anger. And y'all, when I tell y'all my story time about what happened Friday to me at work, Talk about the spirit in the flesh. The only thing is, I was caught in the spirit was caught in the middle of all this flesh surrounded around me. Child, it was crazy. But thank God nobody fought them, hands laid on them, and nobody died, okay? All right, so I, I agree with her here. You cannot pervade the person of an individual. So even if you have the swiper and all, there are some things that based on where they are hidden, go undetected, she said. Again, if this young lady was not sent through the metal detector, then uh, that might be a lawsuit for the school because she should have been sent through that metal detector and should have been searched more thoroughly to try to prevent and eliminate stuff like this. Quote, if you're going to say it's the duty of the school to ensure that it doesn't come on, what of the duty of the parents that you would not be sending a student to school who is desirous of bringing a weapon to school, Harrison asked. Always asking the question with a question. Always trying to pass the buck and the blame and all of this like we all are accountable for this and i'm over here in america but i just feel like in the spirit that's where we're failing our children okay so basically what's up with the parents now i'm not sending my child to school but what my child may take or get outside of the door before she get to the school and in some cases from the hall monitors when she get in school or other students is unbeknownst to me but in no way am i as a parent saying yeah hey, take that knife, knife to school and do what you gotta do but there are some black african 12 tribal parents out here that will fight with their kids and I, you know what the other day i witnessed a child ready to fight for their mother and when I tell you, baby, it was about to go down out there on Friday, I'll share that with you guys. Comment down below if you want to know what happened on Friday, October 7, 2022. So it's not the school's fault. It's not the parents' fault. It's our fault in a sense that we are not training a child in the way it should go. The Bible even says, and you can't believe all things Bible, it may grow up it may depart but if you train a child in the way it should grow in the admonition of the lord it will come back to his senses spiritually and do what's right in life hopefully before they take a life like nika shan did here in the case of Michian campbell that's why i think as parents we're failing people okay so now especially in the laron direct case that we're gonna get into sometime today. Now, with that being said, the JT president said the students were mirroring what is happening in the society. Society can be home, church, concerts, events, schools, 
other influences of people, entities, organizations, and that is a true statement there. Quote, we really ought to be finding better ways to deal with conflict. We better be finding ways to eschew evil and deal with the conflict and the wickedness that's within us. Stop looking for someone else to fix your brokenness when it comes to evil. Why is it hard for us to get over hurt and pain and trauma in the black community? Why is it hard for us to grow up and say, okay, these adults here don't want to be my parent, don't want to show me what's right in life, and go out there and seek ye the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness and find out what life is for ourselves to be able to not only save ourselves, but other women or people or children or students who may be going through or feeling like taking somebody's life. And I believe this was premeditated. I believe, I believe the girl brought the knife to school in order to take this young lady's life. I don't think it just happened where, oh, we in a fight, I see a knife, I grab it, boom. Even then, I think it's still premeditated because you got enough time to think about not grabbing that knife. But if your spirit is not in the right place with God or yourself or whoever, you're going to always make that bad decision that ends up hurting you and other people around you. All right. So basically, uh, someone says, in all my 20 years, or first something like this ever happened, another staff member said, you can imagine your senior picked me to school and you get news says she dead. And with that being said, y'all, I want to know how you feel about this whole entire story down below. And let's go ahead and get into some audio. School just over. Everybody day in the yard. Everybody. Oh, I literally said that earlier. I say, yo, it looked like school done or uh, lunchtime or something because everybody did it. And mm -hmm. there's a fucking space in the middle of the school yard. Bro, like, no, no, hurt me so. Everybody make one circle, one for semi circle. I make this one bugger nice. Who now make the nice? Just a look. Who now make? Who now look? Just a video. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, um, wait, wait. Them not searching them before they go in. Yes, so me not understand what she are doing, man. Then you watch it. We don't know. Them search, everybody them search me, so me don't know why I go on for she. I don't know how she not get search. <laughs> Katie and I want school, man. I'm in prison. And so basically, we just added some more evidence from students and teachers at Kingston Technical High School. Most of them just are open up and feel free to talk about what really happened. Guys, I'm not lying. You see that girl? I must say some things about that girl. I'm just a. Who am I to say anywhere you did? Me know you're supposed to walk after your ego and your pride don't get to this. Are you? But nobody knows that. I'm going to do that. Because she looks like a big woman. She should feel like she's a big woman. Eh? Big woman. It's a petty argument. You fight yesterday. So if you fight yesterday, I'll come back and fight today. That means they get beat up. I have a uncle that can't pick me up. 25 years under your skin. I have 17 now, so 25 or 17 at our 42. A 42 before you come back around on your life. Done. 